Yo, what's going on, y'all? Yeah, it's Christmas. It is Christmas, but it is not snowing. But it is very cold. It's really cold. Got the Mustang here. Got a little something for the Mustang. We got a little something for the... Ooh. Dog. Like, you know how to do it right. APR, full carbon wing. Garage is messy, but it's okay. We're not here for the garage. We're here for this thing right here. I would put it on the floor, but I'm not putting that on concrete. But I was doing it in the house, and it's like up to here. It's like up to my neck. So this thing is huge. It's going to look crazy on the Mustang. And the previous owner had the same one. The, the car is really messy. Don't worry about that. He had the same one. These brackets are the same ones that came with this. So when I was researching, I was trying to find what spoiler had those arms. And I found this. And I was like, they're the same arms. So we picked it up. Uh, I have everything kind of like pre-done. Um, I have all of this like preset and everything. I figured I'd do it in the house instead of outside where it's freezing. Have all this stuff like kind of set in there. It just needs to be put on the wing and tightened. And I also did these inside cause I was just excited. So um, also don't mind like the fingerprints on the spoiler that'll be cleaned up. Obviously it's just from like touching it. But um, I did put the side plates on inside the house. So I mean, Nothing special, you just put it on and screw these. So you guys didn't miss anything crazy, but this is gonna be really easy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move the car right here. And yeah, I'm gonna give y'all a cold start. Don't mind how the Mustang is parked. My mom moved it this morning and I guess she thought it was like an off-roading car or something cause she went all on the mulch, which I told her I cannot go on the mulch cause my tires We'll pick that up and then it'll stick, but I guess you just did it anyway, but it's like 25 degrees. It's cold, I'm trying to get this done as quick as possible. So, first things first, I'm taking these old gray faded brackets or arms off. And I'm putting the new black ones on. Look how filthy my car is, yo. It's okay, it's okay, it's, it's, it's cold out. If I try to wash my car, it just freeze. All right, let's go ahead and get the trunk open. Oh, what's in here? An umbrella and some stuff to wash it. Okay. So. It's like, it's like a guitar. So this is how they got it in there. So uh, let's get this old stuff out of there. All right, I'm gonna just apologize in advance for the dog barking in the background. My neighbor's dog is super annoying. They just got it and it just does nothing but barks all day, multiple times a day. They'll let it off for like 20 minutes, probably like 30 times a day. And it's so annoying, bro. Like, it's so annoying. But anyway, um, come over to the toolbox right here. For those of y'all who are doing this at home, doing it yourself, it's a... 13 millimeter socket. Goes right on there. These are not even on there tight. Like, huh. interesting how that froze. 
but this didn't. Anyway. All right, these can just be like hand loosened now. So I'm gonna loosen these and then I'm gonna pick the video back up. Okay, so whatever idiot had this car before me, like they didn't just drill, they cut a whole thing out of the, the trunk. And then this rubber piece that I have, it's like, like, look at that, dude. I mean, it'll be covered up, but like still, this is a bad job. Size. So, I think this is like got it off, dude. This is jacked up. Like, I don't know what they were thinking when they decided to put the spoiler on, but like, come on, bro. The paint's all like messed up. Well, I don't know if that's, I guess it's just residue, but like, dude, who? Like, bro, what? Anyway, it, it'll be covered up, but. Um, we're gonna put the new ones on. See, this is easy because we don't even have to drill. We already got the holes. So all we gotta do is put the new hardware on and bolt the spoiler onto it and that's it. We gotta tighten these first. It's changeable for like an angle. So that's pretty cool, but I think this should be good for now. If not, I can always change it. I think the best way to do this is just put these through first. And then take this and just so we realized that before putting the spoiler on the car these parts they have to be put on tighten first because there's no way to tighten it once it's on the car so took them off well, we're taking them off. We're gonna put them on here. Then we're gonna put the spoiler on. Okay, we got this holding the trunk right now. We have it somewhat on. We just have to tighten these right here and then fully tighten those. And then we're done. All right, so now it just comes down to tighten these. And after this, It'll be finished. There we go. Oh, it looks so much better. So much better. Stupid dog. Oh, yeah. It's a thousand times better. Yeah, this man, that boy's sturdy on there. It looks great. I have it angled a little down. That way I have some actually noticeable downforce. Um, instead of like just having, I'm sorry if I'm talking weird. I can't feel my hands. I can't feel my lips. I'm so cold. But uh, that way I actually have some noticeable downforce instead of just for looks. So... That's why I kind of have a little bit of an aggressive angle. It's not even the highest like angle setting, so I can get this thing even more angled, but that's how it looks for the settings. And uh, I'm about to go take this thing for a rip, see if I can tell the difference. Second startup of the day.
difference, but I do kind of feel, I don't really know how to explain it. It's not like a lag, but it kind of feels like heavier in the back. And it's definitely not because of the wing, because it's that's real carbon fiber, like it's APR, real carbon, that junk is light. But I guess it's probably because of the downforce. So it just like, it feels like something like it's heavy in my trunk or something like that. So I definitely feel a difference like when I start to like get on it a little bit, but just normally driving it just, it feels like a, it just feels like it normally does or how it used to at least. But I think it looks great. Like, hold on. You know, you look in the mirror, you see the wing, that's hard. You look in this mirror, you see the wing, that's hard. You look in that mirror, and you still see the wing. Like, dude, it looks so good. Especially from like the back. Like, and you're looking at my car from like straight from behind, it just looks so much more aggressive. And it doesn't look ghetto anymore. I, that's what I hated the most about my car, was how stupid the, like the back of it looks because like I, I, I never take pictures of the back of my car just because of that reason and if I do I try and like get at an angle where you don't really see the stupid arms but it's all it's all fixed now 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 I'm definitely gonna take pictures of the back of the car because we got a fat spoiler on it or wing whatever you want to call it but man I'm more than happy with how it came out more than happy I also feel less like, you know, the of the odd one out cuz every Mustang I see, they have a spoiler, some kind of spoiler like the GT spoiler, GT350 spoiler, GT500 spoiler, Wicker Bill, they all got spoilers and I didn't. So there's a Mustang right there. You know what I'm saying? But now I got a spoiler and it's not just one of those spoilers that, you know, you get online for like $200, right? Like the GT500 replica spoiler. Nah, bro. Cause that's originally what I wanted, but it just didn't line up. It would, I would have to bond on my trunk to, oh, I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. Stop it. I'd have to bond on my trunk that way. Bro, what is going on? I just bugged out for a second, but like I was saying, with one of those spoilers, I'd have to bond on my trunk and then like repaint it and then drill new holes because the holes that were already in the trunk would be too far up ahead to just be covered over by the spoiler. So I already knew those wouldn't work. So I was, I was like, all right, well, I just, I guess I gotta find out what spoiler, cause I don't feel like paying someone to Bondo and all that, cause I don't know how to do that. So I found what spoiler came on the car, or not came on him, but like the previous owner had, and that was what it was. So it's an APR wing and it wasn't cheap. So, I mean, but it looks good. It's APR. I've haven't seen an APR wing on a Mustang around here. Uh, I've seen them online, obviously, like a lot, like on Instagram, TikTok, just not in my area, like not at any meets. So I'm not gonna say I'm the first in my area, but like I said, I haven't seen any other Mustang near me with APR wings. So I feel special now, you know? I love looking in the mirror. Like you just see it poking out right there. It looks so good, but um, yep. I'm gonna head home and then uh, I'll see y'all when I get there because there's really nothing else for this drive. Man, I don't even know how long ago that last clip was. Probably like a week ago, to be honest. But ironically, I got the same hoodie on. But um, anyway, I just got back from a crazy meet. <laughs> I'm gonna throw some clips up after this video like ends, but before the outro. Um, bro, they had, they had the chopper out on us. They got a chopper. <laughs> Bunch of cops pulled up. It was crazy, yo. But anyway, um, that's it, man. Uh, let me 
ah, y'all saw the wing. I was gonna go out there, but it's too dark, bro. Y'all, y'all can't see it. So that's that. I hope y'all like the wing. I love it. I absolutely love it. Everyone else loves it. I get a lot of compliments. I've already had so many compliments at all the meets I've gone to. Um, it just fits. It fits. It looks so good, and it's unique. Like I said, I've never seen another Mustang in my area with the APR spoiler like mine. So. It's unique, man. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I didn't go like tutorial, like in depth on how to do it, but like it comes with instructions. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty like self-explanatory. I mean, the hardest part would be drilling. I didn't have to drill luckily, but other than that, it's like you just put things together and then put it one on, like put it on a spoiler, put it on the car. Like, come on. I know y'all are smart, so y'all got it. Y'all can do it if you want this spoiler. But anyway, that's gonna do it. That's gonna have to end it. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I will see y'all in the next one.